Hello, everybody. Today you are watching Todo Fan, the youth magazine of Fine Tune English. I am Isaac, and I will be the host of this space, especially dedicated for you. First, we're going to talk about the common mistakes in English. Then, we're going to have a funny sketch of a hilarious class. In our Kutu segment, we're going to talk about tattoos. Then, finally, in our entertainment segment, we're going to talk about the best albums of all time. Let's begin. Have you ever asked yourself how to improve your English? Here we have the answer. The most common mistakes in the English language are the prepositions. We are going to explain the preposition and how to use it. It's normal to confused. In the English language exist more prepositions than in Spanish. We use in Spanish language en for in, on and at, while in English language each one has a different use and a different name. Let's start with in. We use this preposition to refer to time and places but in a general way or with bigger measures. We use in to talk about centuries, decades, years, months and weeks. And about places, we use it to refer to three-dimensional places such as cities, countries, towns and neighborhoods. That's all for the first tip. When we come back from the sketch, we are going to give more prepositions. In a wave full of English learning offers, one man's academy, fast learning programs and garage institute comes the worst of all. The Gringo Feliz Center, where learning English is not an option. Good afternoon, students. How are you? I am teacher. Oh, that's a new way of greeting. Oh, well, today, guys, we are going to talk about... Mm -hmm. Hi, hi. Hi, teacher. I I'm so sorry. Can I sit? What? Well... Thanks, teacher. You're the best. Okay. Let's continue. Today we are... Herrera, I am sure that you have something very important to tell me, or else you wouldn't interrupt me. Maybe, teacher. Maybe what? May I go to the bathroom? Uh, okay, go! I will back, teacher. What was that? I don't know, he was so good as well. Yes, fortunately it is our last cycle and we are leaving and we can do whatever we want. Yes, yes. and you will miss us. Why would I do that? Because we are friends, I think. Yes, sure. What does that mean? Come on, guys. Take it any way you want. It's for the one who knows everything. Please calm Hi. down, guy. He started. We were talking the three and Philip got into the conversation. I'm sorry, but I was talking yes. to Veronica. Yes. yes. Philip cannot say anything because he has never come to class. He comes to class. Shut up! Hi, I'm back. Okay. We will continue. Now today we are going to... Herrera. What happened? What are you doing? Nothing. Let me see. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Let me see you. No. Come on, Herrera, let me see. No. Let me see it! You are a What is this? Is it this? Oh, let me see. Oh, they look similar. No. no, they don't look similar. No, it's bad. The nose look well. I need more wrinkles. Yes, you are right. Stop talking about me as like I'm not even here. And you said, stop laughing. Mm, why don't you turn me off? I'm gonna say nothing to Marcos. He has been asleep since we started class. In our last class, we. Bye bye. 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 Bye bye.
Spicy shirt. They wouldn't even let me talk. I couldn't say a word. Maybe I should have stayed in my own country like my father told me to. The next proposition that we're going to talk about is on. We use this for time, but more specifically... About time, we use on to refer to days and weekends. We use this to talk about two-dimension places, like wall, beach, table and streets. And the last proposition that we are going to talk about is at. This could be the most confusing of the three, but we use this to talk about specific places and specific time. We use at to refer to hours, and about places, we use at to refer to a specific location and addresses. We are going to give you more examples later. Tattoos throughout the history has caused a big controversy around the world. This fashion grew up really quickly with acceptance in a lot of cultures and ages. But what is a tattoo? Okay, a tattoo is created when someone introduces ink into the epidermis, which is the superficial layer of the skin. Getting a tattoo can be pretty cool, but it's important to know that you can have an allergic reaction to some inks or you can get a dangerous infection. That's why it's very important to clean the needle machine. Tattoos have a lot of different meanings and people give their own meanings to any type of tattoo but our ancestors used to use these symbols to represent their beliefs. Another important aspect to know is that in the ancient cultures also used tattoos. For example, in the ancient Greece they used tattoos to mark their slaves and their criminals so they can recognize them. The oldest tattoo was found by a group of scientists in the ancient Egypt into a mom. Now we're going to give some important facts about tattoos. Yeah, did you know that the man who invented the modern tattoo machine was Thomas Alva Edison in 1891? Italy counts with the highest percent of people tattooed in the world, with approximately a 48% then Sweden with 47 and finally United States with 46%. There is a man who called the zombie boy or the living dead who counts with 90% of his body with tattoos. He won a place in the Guinness record book. Thanks. There exist more prepositions than in English language as in Spanish language that didn't mean the same. We gave some tips and advice on how to use this preposition. Here are some examples. I'm finishing classes in June. This is time and more specifically. I am in the car. This is place but more specifically. Let's go to the beach on Saturday. I am on the beach. A specific locations. Let's meet at 4 p.m. This is time. A specifically. And I am at the party. This is places more specifically. Next, we have the shows, so keep watching. Hi everyone, today we have the top 4 of the greatest albums of all the time. The number one is for Adele with her album Adele 21 which was released on January 2011. It's a perfect mix of pop with soul and R&B. This album features songs such as Rolling the Deep and Song Like You. Also Adele won a Grammy Award for Album of the Year. Personally, Adele is one of my favorite singers for her powerful voice and how she sings high notes in this album. Number 2 is for the Sano Music soundtrack that was released in 1965 by RCA Victor and is one of the most successful soundtrack albums in history, having sold more than 20 million copies worldwide. Also, it is the soundtrack that the movie that had the same name.
The Three Places for the King of the Pop, Michael Jackson, with his album Thriller, released on November 30, 1982. In just over a year, uh, Thriller became the best-selling album, having an estimated 66 million copies. Also, uh, Michael Jackson won eight Grammy Awards, including Album of the Year. He produced singles like Billie Jean, Beat It, and Thriller. With this album, Michael Jackson achieved worldwide fame and became the king of the pop. The most important thing about this album is the strength that he shows when he sings and in his performance. The number four is for Freeless by Taylor Swift, that was her second studio album. Five singles were released from Freeless. Her first single, Love Story, that sold more than 8 million copies worldwide and debuted at the number one in the United States. It also was the best selling of 2009. The best produced, the most complete and the most impressive, all in an album full of very good country and pop songs. Thanks to her dedicated and passionate career, she succeeded. That's all for today. All that was very interested, we hope you like it. That's all for today. We hope that you enjoyed this program like us. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a like and activate the bell. I am Isaac and I hope to see you in another opportunity. Bye!